All right. Come on in. Come on down. We're in Proverbs chapter 6. Proverbs chapter 6. And I'm going to read uh, three more verses. We haven't read there. Maybe four here. It's kind of a little group of verses that go together. Uh, it's, it's got something to say about your parents this morning. So listen carefully. Uh, you remember the guy who wrote Proverbs? Who wrote most of the Proverbs? you remember who it was? Anybody remember his name? He was a king of Israel. Don't remember? He was David's son. You know who was king after David? David had a son. What? You remember his name? Yes, thank you. Solomon, right. Solomon. Solomon was the king of Israel, and he asked God for wisdom. God gave him wisdom, and he wrote this book. God inspired him to write this book of wisdom. By the way, when Solomon got older, he lost a lot of his wisdom. He started making foolish decisions. And, 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 and lost a lot of his wisdom, which means wisdom is something we need to keep asking God for kind of on a daily basis. Lord, I need wisdom today. Yeah, and he gives us a lot of counsel here for finding God's wisdom in Proverbs chapter 6. Listen to this. This is God's word, guys. My son. Now, this is like Solomon writing to his son, okay? My son, observe the commandment of your father. Do not forsake the teaching of your mother. You say, well, of course a dad would say that. <laughs> Yeah, but this dad's inspired by God. This is part of God's word. He's saying, you need to pay attention to your father and your mother. Let me say this before I keep reading. Proverbs are kind of a special part of God's word. Proverbs are not promises. Proverbs are talking about things in life that generally are true. They're not always true. Like, for example, there's a verse that says, train up a child in the way he should go, and when he's old, he will not depart from it. We'll get to that verse one of these days. And some people say, well, that's a promise. No, it's not a promise. It's a proverb. It means most of the time when you train children wisely, they will be wise when they get older, but not all of them. You know, you look at families that raised their kids and taught them the same things, every one of them, and one of the kids turns out to be a strong person walking with the Lord, and another one turns out to be a, a rebellion against God. You know, because we all have our, we're all free moral agents. We get to make our own decisions, no matter what our bringing was like, whether it was good or bad. But in general, you with me, Trey? In general, if you if you have good upbringing, who's over there that I can't see? You guys can get over here where I can see you a little bit. Come on over here. I want to see you. Uh, thank you, Jason. All right. Yeah. In general, when when you listen to your parents, you'll be ahead. That's what he's saying. There are some parents who give who are bad parents, and I don't know. I, I think most of you probably have really good parents. Parents who really love you. Parents who are trying to be wise for you, trying to help you make good decisions. Most of you, my son, observe the commandment of your father. Do not forsake the teaching of your mother. Bind them continually on your heart. That is, remember them. It's like memorize what your mom and dad teach you to do. Tie them around your neck. Keep it with you. When you walk about, they will guide you. When you sleep, they'll watch over you. When you're awake, they'll talk to you. In other words, you remember the counsel and the wisdom your parents give you, he says, then you'll, you'll, it'll help you all the time. At night, in the morning, when you get up, in the morning, uh, when you go to bed at night, just as you walk through the day, your wisdom from your parents will help you make good decisions all the time. That's what he's saying. Listen, he says, the last verse I'm going to read to you. For the commandment, and it's commandment from parents, but hopefully that means commandments from God. Wise parents are trying to learn what God wants them to teach you. Wise parents want, want to teach you the way God wants you to go. The commandment is a lamp, and the teaching is light. Why do we need a lamp? Why do we need light? What does lamps and light help with? To see where you're going. Yeah, we got we can't see without light, right? So, so he's talking metaphorically that we need to see where we're going in life. We need to have spiritual light. We need to have physical light, of course, but we need to have spiritual light, mental light, emotional light, so we can make good decisions. The commandment is a lamp. The teaching is light. And reproof, what's reproof? What's reproof mean? When you, you know what it means to reprove somebody? It's to tell them they're wrong. Sometimes, have your parents ever told you you were wrong? Have your parents ever said, you shouldn't have done that? Don't you do that again. Have you ever heard that from your parents? It's called reproof. It's reproof. Reproofs for discipline or the way of life. 
We don't like reproofs. Do you like it when your parents reprove you or when anybody reproves you, when a teacher reproves you? Do you like it? No, nobody likes reproof. I don't like it either. I have to get reproof sometimes too, by the way. I don't like it. But I say, Lord, thank you. I need to think about this. I need to, I need to do this your way. I know they're trying to help me. So help me to listen. Help me to go stronger. Be willing to take reproof. Now, the main thing he's talking about here is from your parents. But as you grow older, there'll be a lot of people, not just teachers. There'll be a lot of people who love you, who care about you, who will reprove you. And instead of blowing up, you know, that rebellious spirit in us wants to say, how dare he, how dare he, how dare him tell me that. You know, that's, that's the way we react. That's the enemy working in you. God says, be teachable. Be ready to receive that reproof. Thank God for it. Thank your parents for it. Thank, thank the person who gives you reproof. They may be wrong sometimes. Yeah, their people are wrong. I'm wrong sometimes. People are wrong. They may be wrong. But they love you, and they're trying to help you. And it's something you need to pray about. Lord, help me to do the right thing. Okay? Make sense? Go home and thank your parents for giving you reproof and correction, and trying to help you make good decisions. Might be tough, but it's a good, good thing to do. They'll appreciate that. And it'll show you have some wisdom. Anything you want to add to that? Anything you want to say? All right, let's pray. Father, thank you so much for these kids. Thank you so much for your word. Thank you for giving us the book of Proverbs, for causing Solomon to write these things down for us. Lord, thank you for giving us truth and wisdom. And Lord, you know us, and you know some of us have a real problem with a rebellious spirit. Some of us react. Every time a teacher tells us to do something or a parent tells us to do something, there's something that comes up inside us, and we don't like it, and we react against it. And Lord, we know that's dangerous stuff, so please help us to conquer that rebellious spirit and help us instead to be teachable and to realize, according to your word, reproof is a way of life. Discipline is a way of life. So Lord, thank you for the light that you give us through reproof and through correction from our parents and from other people who love us, teachers, friends, whoever it might be. Lord, help us to be wise givers of reproof when it's necessary. And help us to be wise receivers of proof, reproof when it's necessary. But thank you for parents who care enough about their kids to try to teach them the right way. So I pray you'd help these kids be thankful for parents who love them. Help yeah. us today to walk with you, to bring you glory, to bring you honor, to represent you well, to be more like Jesus, to walk in your spirit. We pray in his name. Amen. God bless you guys. Stay in the battle. Have a blessed day.